American legal education is in crisis. The economic downturn has left many recent law graduates saddled with crushing student loans and bleak job prospects. The law schools have been targets of lawsuits by students and scrutiny from the United States Senate for alleged false advertising about potential jobs. Yet, at the same time, more and more Americans find that they cannot afford any kind of legal help. Addressing these issues requires changing legal education and how the profession sees its responsibility to serve the public interest as well as clients. Some schools are moving in promising directions. The majority are still stuck in an outdated instructional and business model. The problems are not new. In 2007, a report by the Carnegie Foundation for the Advancement of Teaching explained that law schools have contributed heavily to this crisis by giving only casual attention to teaching students how to use legal thinking in the complexity of actual law practice. Even after the economy recovers, the outsourcing of legal work from law firms and corporate council offices to lower fee operations overseas is likely to continue. Belatedly, some law schools are trying to align what and how they teach to what legal practice now entails and what individuals and institutions need. Like many more lawyers who can serve as advocates for the poor and middle class, instead of a curriculum taught largely toward professors grilling of students about appellate schools, offering more apprentice-style learning and legal clinics, and more courses that trim students' multiple future roles as advocates and counselors and deal shapers and problem solvers, with new legal issues arising from the use in business and government of management and some schools teaching students software as legal code to solve system-wide problems, then exploring ways to reduce tuitions and make them more sustainable is important. Potential business models include degrees based on two years of classes, followed by two years of apprenticeship. In American law schools, the choice is not teaching legal theory or practice, the task is to teach legal ideas and skills in more effective ways. The method has been the foundation of legal education for years. The premise was that students would have reasoning by studying appellate rulings. That has treated law as a form of science and as a source of knowledge. That vision was dated by the 1920s. It was gone by the 1960s. Law is not regarded as a means rather than an end. It is a tool for solving problems. In reforming law schools, they have the chance to help reinvigorate the profession and rebuild public confidence in what it can provide. Finally, in many countries, using a camera or taking notes can get you into trouble. That is not supposed to happen in New York City. Yet. As police cleared Occupy Wall Street protesters from Zuccotti Park in Lower Manhattan on no November 15th, a number of journalists were roughed up and arrested. Many were prevented by police from documenting what happened that night. Police Commissioner Raymond Kelly should take a hard look at how officers ignored the department's guidelines for dealing with the news media, which prohibit interfering with news gathering activity. In a letter on Monday to Paul Brown, the deputy police commissioner, the police said they were more hostile to the press covering these protests than at any other event in recent memory. Before clearing tents and other structures from Zuccotti Park, for example, a police representative asked journalists in the area for press credentials. Reporters and photographers do not need credentials to be in a public area. The passes are supposed to give them better access. 
but those who admitted having passes were instead herded to a penned area blocks away from the police action. In another spot, 